Who would have ever thought we'd be this excited about chickens? Let's go! Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got seven mods for you. For all platforms, we have three new and four updates and that is it. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Modern Poultry House, AKA Large Chicken Coop. This is from Black Sheep Money. We talked about this a little bit over the weekend and it is finally here. You can see we've got some really nice animations on the doors. When we walk in, we've got a place for your feed right there. We come right here, ba -doom, ba -doom, that raises. And then your feed raises, that's pretty cool. And this is where you're gonna buy your chickens. You will have to clean them out, by the way. And then we've got a couple more triggers here. This trigger will actually raise this up. Now, this is so you can back in like a normal tipper or something like that under it, and the eggs will go bloop, 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 just like so. Uh, also, the triggers are very, very close to each other, so be careful which ones you do. And then we have another trigger right here, which will actually take off with this. This is where all the eggs will go. We're gonna get all into it, don't you worry. <laughs> Safety is no accident. I love it, I love it, I love it. Those are super funny, they've done a great job with that. Uh, also included with this bank is this, the Eco Egg. This is known as an auto-loading egg uh, trailer. Yep, <laughs> those exist, I didn't know either. So there you go. Let's take a look at these in the store and see what we get. So you can see right here, we've got our large chicken coop, 500 chickens. This will take wheat or barley like normal, 40 bucks per day. And it is going to be a total of 12 slots if you guys are on consoles. Uh, these are made so you can put down like a couple of these all at the same time, which I kind of highly recommend if you guys are looking for chickens or anything like this. This would be a cool, very, very cool way to do it. I dig that. Additionally, you've got the KK 2018-17 Eco Egg Auto Load. Yeah, uh, this you can change up the color of the frame and nothing else. Uh, this does say this is a trailer for automatic loading of egg boxes. So it doesn't say auto load, but it says automatic load. Yeah, it's an auto load, isn't it? This is going to take up a total of five slots for you guys, and it holds a total of 14,550 liters. Now, I can't remember exactly how many liters are in a box of eggs. I think it's, was it 10, 50, 100, 10,000? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Regardless, uh, let's get some chickens in here. Let's get some feed in here, and let's get some time moving. So we open up everything. As a matter of fact, let's go and cut some lights on as well so we can see what we're doing. There's a light switch, and that runs for the entire place. Boom. In here, uh, well, uh, can I have 500, please? There we go. We got our 500 little baby chickies. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get a bunch of food put in here and see how our eggs do. Running our time at a total of 120. Let's see kind of what happens with eggs in here. It does kind of, it normally takes a little while. So let's come in here and we'll do a little bit of a trickery here. Let's find this. Let's see, let's do like times a thousand. I think that'll be good let's run that no place for eggs at the hold up no more place no more space to place new eggs in the chickens what have i done wrong uh, <laughs> uh maybe operate the treadmill uh no i don't think that's gonna be it uh, i mean we could Try it. Nope, definitely getting a thing that says no space for eggs. See the coop? That's running all the way up to the front. So that's yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Come through here. Is there anything I could possibly be doing wrong or may be doing wrong? There's nothing in the way. There's nothing in the ordinary out of... Uh... Huh. Ooh, yikes. Interestingly, the eggs will not drop. Oh, hang on. Open the shut. No, that's open the shutters. That's not going to be it, is it? Let's speed up time a little bit more. No more space for new pallets for the eggs at the chickens. Huh. Well, that's pretty frustrating considering that this was supposed to be really, really cool. Uh, maybe if we drop that down, maybe that will do it. I've seen this work before. I know it does work. However, it doesn't look like it's working for me. Maybe I've got a tree up in the way. No, trees are 
plenty far back. You know what, guys? I uh, I don't know what in the world's going on with that. Super, super irritating uh, and frustrating as well. Very, very frustrating. Well, nonetheless, let's uh, let's find out how this works. So, if we were to have some eggs, so we'll go in here and we'll we'll spawn a couple uh, things for eggs. Do 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 do. Yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. We'll kind of grab these and chunk them in, and you could see how, whenever they go in, they will kind of stack up and look pretty nice. Actually, the triggers like right here. Oh, I got a better idea. What if we go from here, right? All right, stay with me here. Stay with me. We got our eggs. A lot of eggs. What if we just back up to this? And yeah, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> so it looks like the eggs will have to be kind of like raised up a little bit, which explains why they were the way they were. Oh, and that didn't even auto load. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that one didn't either. So it looks like sometimes there is a trigger. Sometimes there is not a trigger. Either that or they're completely full. One of the two. Let's jump in here and find out. Nope. Not even close to being full. All right. Well, we'll... <laughs> I'm going to slide around back there. We'll fold up the tipper. We do have a sell point right here lined up for us. So we'll go ahead and take our sell point. Open up our trailer. And we'll pull here. And we'll see if we get kind of a auto sell. Uh, kinda. Looks like we can dump eggs. So that's cool. I'm curious to see. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's how that works. So this is cool. Ah, that's pretty sweet. It'll unload pretty quickly as well. That's awesome. Hey, this is neat. I like the trailer. I like the. Uh, I like everything about this. I just wish maybe there was a little bit of an easier way to. Get this to work, please. Uh, for right now, uh, no, not working for me. If you guys are having the same issue, let me know. If you're not having the same issue and it's working just fine, let me know as well. Next is the Irmo Ghibli 300 Disc Arrow. This bad boy right here is going to require 150 horsepower, 3 meter work with at 9 miles per hour. And if you guys are on console, it's going to be a total of 6 slots for you guys. Main color, we could change that up between white and gray. That's pretty cool. And then the roller in the back, we've got a cage roller and we have a ring roller. So either one of those you want to go with, you are good to go. And our last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the metal sheds. Oh yeah, with solar panels. There you go. We've got four different versions starting on the left right here. We have the metal shed with solar small. There you go. So you got that. This is going to make you money as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, $200 in easy per hour, $150 in normal, and $50 in hard mode, which is a lot of money no matter how you throw it. Uh, also, it's going to be a total of four slots for you guys. Next is going to be the small double metal shed with solar. This is going to make you quite literally twice as much money. So $400, $300, and $100 respectively. Moving over. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be four slots for you guys. Moving over, the next version right here is a little bit longer version of the small. This is the medium, and this is going to be making a total of 500 per hour in easy, 400 normal, 200 in hard mode. That's a lot of money to be made in hard mode. Uh, nonetheless, hey, I like it. I'm, I'm down with it. Four slots, and then the medium-sized double metal shed with solar. 70 grand, four slots on consoles. This is going to make you a total of $600 in easy, 500 normal, and 300 in hard mode. Can you imagine a shed making you $300 in hard mode per hour? That's, I don't know if that's unfair cheating or... Uh, perfect. Either way, there you guys go. Those are your metal sheds solar panels making our way into mod updates for all platforms today we're going to start with the case H puma tier 4b from blue Augen and modding this is going to be change log 1.4 minor bug fixes and then the rims wheel weights and hubs have been changed if you guys are used to their other mods well they're going to be pretty similar for you guys we've got michelin tires minus trailer and knock in in michelin of course you can see right through here We've got wheels that have been changed up, and we do have those wheel weights on there as well. Same as there, and same as here. 
Love it, I love it. Your next mod update for all platforms today is going to be Binkler Farm. This is going to be change log 1.001. Pipe has been installed, collision at the stairs, courtyard floor has been retextured, and seasons has been installed, aka it is now seasons ready. And we also have an update to the timbered farm pack from Richie F. This is going to be change log 1.005. Fix the season mask feed barn. And your last update for all platforms and your last mod today, this is gonna be an update to the Wither Farm shed pack from Missy B. Change log 1.2, floor has been removed from the grain shed and final update. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the mod video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you guys haven't seen yet, released Farm Sim News a little bit earlier this morning, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But all will be done. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.